Let's do some EFT tapping together on the fear of being alone. However that shows up for you, whether that's a discomfort when you're actually just not in the presence of other people, and it brings up an anxiety, a fear of being single, or sometimes there's just a fear or a dread of the possibility of being alone, even if everything in your current external circumstances doesn't seem to suggest that that's going to be the case. So just giving yourself a moment to tune into yourself, how you're experiencing that particular fear, noticing any places in the body that may be tensing up or just reacting to this feeling. Don't force any of it ever. Just let yourself tune into that. And let's go to the side of the hand. Even though I'm feeling this fear, this fear of being alone, I choose to deeply and completely accept myself and what I'm feeling. Even though I'm feeling this fear, it's a fear of being alone, I choose to deeply and completely honor myself and what I'm feeling. Even though I'm feeling fear, it's a fear of being alone. However that's showing up for me, whatever I'm experiencing in my body and whatever my mind happens to be showing me, whatever idea or previous experience that has me associating the experience or the idea of being alone with such intensity as something we have to fear. I'm sure there's a reason for that. And I choose to deeply and completely honor and accept myself and everything I'm feeling. Now through the points, this fear, this fear of being alone, this fear, I can feel it. Sometimes it's really strong. Sometimes it's activated. Perhaps when I sense that I'm going to be alone or I imagine it happening. Other times, maybe it's just something, something in the background, it's a general sense of anxiety, something that's not at ease, it's saying, what if I end up alone? What if I end up alone? What if I'm going to be alone? I'm afraid to be alone. There's so much fear. Such an intensity around being alone. And I want to give myself permission, give myself some space for whatever it is, whatever parts of me experienced whatever they did that put them in that position, said, so don't let this happen. Whatever it is inside of me, whatever experiences I've had that created this feeling in me, it's not safe to be alone. It's not safe to be alone. Giving myself permission to feel that. I'm not arguing with it. Many people might tell me, it's fine to be alone. This isn't about that. This is about deep down whatever experiences I've had that make this such a fearful idea or experience. And whatever amount feels right to me, whatever feels safe and natural, just 
allowing that to come to the surface. Hey, whatever's going on in there that makes it feel necessary to resist the idea, resist the possibility of being alone, just letting them speak up, acknowledging whatever they went through, honoring whatever I went through, whether I consciously remember it or not. Something deep within me learned that being alone was something to be feared. All this fear, all those experiences in my past, as much as feels right, allowing that to come up, allowing that to process, allowing myself to feel right here, right now, whatever level of support, whatever stability can help me feel more centered more grounded, letting myself relax, my ideas about being alone, or past experiences about being alone, and letting myself connect more and more to my body, to my emotions, to this whole universe within me. There's such an amazing world. Even the fears are part of that world. There's such an amazing world within me that even by myself, I'm not alone. There's so much interesting interconnectedness between people ways that we can feel each other, even through a video, even through a screen, opening up to the possibility that I never need to be alone in the way I might be imagining, that what I'm fearing may be more of an idea than a truth, and that whatever was so painful in the past, maybe the me of today, the me who's processing this, might be more okay, might not need to fear this, might be okay to just be present, be present with myself open to the possibility that I can support myself, that I can be present with myself, that there is a relationship here, a relationship between me and myself at all times, and doing whatever I can to best support that relationship, just relaxing the fear feeling as centered and grounded as is accessible to me now. Okay, take a breath. Hopefully that helps support you. I have actually the theme of this little ebook I wrote that you can get in the description, You're Not a Repair Project, is based on this premise that we have a relationship with all the things within our own internal world, and that relationship can be cultivated and worked with. So that's one angle that may possibly uh, be of some use for you in this um, theme of fear of being alone. I hope that helps it release. Let me know any questions, comments, concerns. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks so much.